Okay, so the second question of P3 October 2023 paper. In so question number two is basically from functions. Uh, that is basically chap the first very first chapter of P3 book. So let's have a look what they have asked there. So the function f is defined by this is equation for f of x the domain it is very important to consider the domain because for functions most of the students feel like confused of the domain and range things in functions so it's very important to understand the domain and range of a function okay so the range the function the domain of the function is given now in part a we need to find out the composite the value of composite function f of f of x for x equals to 6 so composite function composite function it's a function which has like a function within another function that is a composite function so at first what we will do for x equals to 6 we will find out not x equals to 6 let's do it directly we'll find out f of 6 so what's the value of f of 6 there this is uh, x 6 plus 3 9 over 9 over 2 we got the value of f of 6 now we will put this value of f of 6 into f of x again since it is composite so what we will get now so 9 over 2 plus 3 over 9 over 2 minus 4 so you'll get uh, 9 over 2 4.5 plus 3 this is 7.5 that means this is 15 over 2 over half so the value you will get here it's 15 that's the answer simple okay next part b find f inverse finding f inverse okay so for inverse function part b we know that y equals f of x so that means if you may if you make x the subject and take f to the other side we'll get f inverse y that means if you make in the from the equation y equals to f of x if you make x the subject and represent x in terms of y you will get the f inverse of y okay so y equals to what the function is x plus 3 over x minus 4 x plus 3 over x minus 4 so from there our main aim is to make x the subject so let's cross multiply we'll get x y minus 4 y and then uh, we need to make x the subject so take all of the terms with x to the same side so that we can have a common so negative 3 negative 4 y so we can take x common now if you take x common what you will get 1 minus y so 3 minus 4 y there make x the subject what you will get 3 minus 4 y over 1 minus y so we have represented x in terms of y that means we got f inverse of what y so f inverse y is 3 minus 4 y over 1 minus y now we need f inverse x so just put x in place of y you will get f inverse what x 3 minus 4 x over okay i missed a negative sign there it should be negative so if this is negative then it will be negative 3 negative 4 y negative 3 negative 4 y so if you write 3 plus 4 x so it will be on the bottom it will be y minus 1 just multiply negative 1 with the denominator so after finding inverse you need to mention the domain of the inverse function so most of the students like feel difficulties in this part like finding the domain of an inverse function so this is very important to know 
that the domain of e of f inverse x is basically the range of f of x so if you just find out the range of f of x basically you will get the domain of f inverse x so consider the for f of x the domain is x not equal to 4 and x element real numbers so that means the value of x can be anything without 4 so use your calculator take the equation in your calculator x plus 3 over x minus 4 into your calculator and then solve it for x so taking positive infinite value and a negative infinite value and see you will see that f of x will be approaching towards a fixed value like I put uh, a positive infinite value 9999 nine something like that and I got 1.00 something that means the value of f of x it is approaching towards 1 but not intersecting it if you put negative 99999 what you will get we are getting 0 0.999 something so that means look the value of f of x it is approaching towards f of x equals to 1 y equals to 1 but it's not intersecting it that means this is an asymptote this is an asymptote that means the range of f of x is y not equals to 1 y element real numbers that means the, val the, the range of f of x is it is anything without 1 so we got the domain of f inverse that is x element real numbers and or x not equal 1 this is the domain of what f inverse x now we are done so for this type of question when you find the f inverse when you find the inverse of any function don't forget to mention the domain okay that's all let's move on to the next part the function g this is another function which is defined by f of x equals to x squared plus 5 the domain is given look look at the question like you might ask like why we would need to mention the domain for only three marks that's for only three marks why we, we would need to mention the domain but look for each and every single functions in the question they have mentioned the domain for f of x the domain is given for g of x this is a new function for that one also they have mentioned the domain so that's the rule basically that's a like process you need to follow when you give when you derive a new function definitely you need to mention its domain okay so for part c find the exact value of a for which g of f of a equals to 7 so we need to find out the exact value of a so this is also a composite function the left hand side so at first we need to figure out the value for f of a not the value basically it will be a term in terms of a so f of a would be a plus 3 a plus 3 over a minus 4 a minus 4 so g of f of a would be the g of x is what g of x is x squared plus 5 so we will just put f of a into there so a plus 3 whole squared over a minus 4 whole squared plus 5 so they said g of f of a equals to 7 so what we can a plus 3 over a minus 4 whole squared plus 5 equals to what 7 so take 5 to the right side you will get a plus 3 over a minus 4 whole squared this is equals to 2 and then we can square root both sides a plus 3 over a minus 4 equals to plus minus as you square root there will be plus minus square root of 2 
And if you do cross multiply, you will get a plus 3 equals to plus minus square root of 2 times a minus 4. So basically, we are getting two possible values for a. So a plus 3 equals to square root of 2a. Let us consider the positive value minus 4 square root of 2 or we will get a plus 3 equals to negative square root of 2a plus 4 square root 2. Okay. So, we need to make a the subject. So, take a on the same side. So, we will get negative 3, negative 4 square root of 2 or you will get uh, a plus square root of 2 a equals to 4 square root 2 minus 3. Now, from there we need to make a the subject. So, take it common 1 minus square root 2 equals to negative 3, negative 4 square root of 2 or take a common you will get 1 plus square root of 2 equals to what 4 square root of 2 minus 3 ok where the end so make a the subject you will get negative 3 negative 4 square root of 2 over 1 minus square root of 2 or a equals to 4 root 2 minus 3 over square root of 2 plus 1. These are the two values we got for a. Okay. So, now just one thing we have left with here, we need like whether both of them would be the answer or not. To figure out that, you will put the two values into the equation of f of a. Okay. Why we would do that? Because if you see the domain of g of x, the domain of g of x is x greater than 0. That means any negative value, you can't like for any negative value, g of x is undefined. It is not defined. So, that means in the equation, in the composite equation g of f of a, if you see the range of f of x, the range of f of x will be the domain of g of x. Why? Because we find at first f of a and then we are it substitu substituting it into g of x. That means the range of f of x has been substituted in g of x. So, you need to see for which value of a you are getting negative range for f of x. So, let us carry out that take out take this value at first in your calculator negative 3 negative 4 square root of 2 and over 1 minus square root of 2 this is basically something 11 plus 7 root 2 ok the value of a is 11 plus 7 root 2 so put it into the equation of f of x so answer plus 3 over answer minus 4 just using calculator put find out the value is it's square root of 2 that means we are getting positive value that's fine that means this is accepted the value of a this one is accepted now let's see the next one 4 square root of 2 minus 3 over square root of 2 plus 1. So, this is basically 11 minus 7 root 2. Now, put it in the equation of f of x. What you will get? Answer plus 3 over answer minus 4. This is negative square root of 2. So, for this value of a, we are getting what? A negative range of f of x. That means, neg for negative value, for this value of a, g of x will become undefined. So, this is not acceptable. We will just write this one as the answer. So, you can simplify it negative 3, negative 4, square root of 2. 
like rationalizing the denominator. So just you can do, don't need to show working, you can do it directly using your calculator, you will get 11 plus 7 square root 2, that's the answer, that's the only answer. So that's all about question number two.